Hello anyone and everyone, I'm Echo, and today we're exploring Amnesia the Dark Descent. We're here behind a pile of boxes. <clears throat> it's our natural habitat. It's the place we all want to be. And uh, we're in the dungeon, place, prison, whatchamacallit. There's rats all around and creepy monsters chasing us all over the place. And uh, we're in the kitchen. A weird kitchen that doesn't seem to have any actual cooking going on. Well, except maybe over here. I guess they made lots of soup. Because I don't... Yeah, I don't, I don't see any means for baking or, uh, or cooking anything. I just see a soup pot. So I guess they must have been making lots of soup. Okay, anyway, I'm stalling for time because I'm... Like, I'm distracted and stuff. Glass jar, an empty glass container. And let me guess, we need to fill it up with this acid, huh? Yes, the glass jar holds the acid safely. Alright, any monsters coming for us? <coughs> no, okay. Glass jar of acid. It is filled with acid. So much acid. Alright, cool. Moving on, how much uh, crap do I have? I've got a decent amount of crap. Oh! I heard the monster. That's weird. Huh. That's really weird. The music's not going, and he's not walking around. <clears throat> we just got rid of him at the end of the last episode. Not sure why he'd be here. Huh. Unless that was my imagination? I don't know. Also, I don't know what the acid's used for. Game has not deigned to tell us yet. Of course, it's not going to just tell us. We're going to have to figure it out. Well, we're not going that way unless we can find a way to open that locked door. Okay. Yeah, that's super confusing. I'm not sure why I heard a faint noise of the monster. <coughs> it was just like a single... A single little groan. Most unfortunate. Most unfortunate indeed. Alright. Um, Alright, keep going this way. Alright, now which ways have we been? We've been that way. We went to the storage. So let's try going this way. Which we have not been to yet. The way which the... Noises are coming from. Because we need to find something to put all this acid all over. All dressed in blue, huh? Who's dressed in blue? And what is that? That's... Oh, that's just some decoration. Some nice decoration for the prison. Okay. Alright, we've been down that way. Cool. So we are slowly closing the loop. Figuring out a way around this place. And it just gave us an entirely new path. Great. Fantastic. <clears throat> What's that? A cistern entrance. It's in very poor condition. So incredibly poor. And let me guess. Memento, the gate leading out of this area is locked by, worn padlock, by a worn padlock. That's probably really what the acid is for. Huh. Okay, so now I'm uh, met with a dilemma. Do I put the acid on this and head on through? Or do I explore the corners that we haven't been to yet? In order to try and fo find more... Uh, 
tinder boxes and oil and story bits. Hmm. <clears throat> All right. Let's check it out. Hey, you! Stop! Don't come any closer. I just want to leave. You can't go outside. It's too dangerous. I'm telling Gabriel. I doubt that very much. Oh, okay. Won't budge. Ah, oh, shit. Shit. Something's coming for us. And I did not have time to make a hiding spot. Alright, let's just hide here then, I guess. That won't open, of course. And the padlock is in excellent condition. Make sure you tell us how the padlock's doing. Hmm. <clears throat> Need some more oil. Still slight headache. Man! I figured I shouldn't have come down this way. Stupid monster's gonna try and come and get us. It's the only reason the music would be, be acting up. I don't see it, though. Or hear it. Huh. Still at a slight headache. No torches around, so I can't light up one of those. <sighs> Alright, this is a very annoying situation we're in. Incredibly annoying, in fact. We're still on slight headaches, so I guess we didn't really lose out much there. But that's... So we, we heard the little story bit of the lady being like, Oh no, go away. And then uh, the music started playing, so I thought a monster was attacking us. And we couldn't open the door. Was the story bit? Did that cause our character to, like, become afraid and it started playing out some music? To express just how afraid he is? <laughs> like, I don't know. It's weird. Anyway, that's the other direction we haven't gone yet. I think. Unless. No. Oh. Welp. Oil. That's cool. Dead body. Not so cool at all. <laughs> but there's a tinderbox under it. Our dude's probably going to get afraid if we... No? Oh, okay. I expected he would have... I expected we probably would have had to move the body in order to grab the tinderbox from under him. And then... Daniel was probably going to spook out all over himself, as he often does. Alright. Check out the other room. Hey! Anybody! Help! Christ. I don't believe this. Why? I mean, why? What did I do to deserve this? I mean, it can't be. Do I deserve this? It wasn't my fault. Why did he have to go in there? Don't go into burning houses. He should have known better. Okay. Anything behind this bed over here? No. So, I'm guessing the voice we heard just now was just a random prisoner. It didn't sound like Daniel. It didn't sound like anybody else we've heard up to this point. It didn't sound like the the screaming woman or women. So I don't know. I guess it was a nobody. Alright. 
cool. Nobodies are cool, I guess. What's down here? A note. And anything to go with that note. A bucket. Okay. So, oh, a little a loaf of moldy bread. That's cool. Awesome. All right, note. 4th of August, 1839. The nightmares woke me in the early morning. And for a moment, I forgot where I was. Shortly after, there was a knock on my door. Alexander had heard my screams and asked me to join him in the parlor. As we drank our tea, Alexander began to tell me what he knew. It seems like the orb I found casts a long and dark shadow. It's not only a powerful item, but a dangerous one. Simply by touching it, you invoke the powers within, and if you are too weak to control it, it will devour you. The shadow is a sluggish thing. Lagging behind the wielder, killing anyone or anything in its path to reclaim the orb. I said I didn't care about its powers and that I should throw it away. Alexander advised against this as I'd still be a part of the path to the orb and eventually suffer death. Having the orb, I would at least have the chance to fight back when the time came. I asked Alexander what he meant when he said he could protect me. And he answered, the things can be done, but at a price. Ooh. Okay. So, further evidence that uh, Alexander's not a cool dude. Not in the slightest. And I do believe this means we are done. God damn it. You gotta be kidding me. There, there isn't even anywhere to hide in this area. That's really... Like, what am I supposed to do? Just sit behind the closed door that he can smash through? And I guess if he gets in the room, I'll have to, like, run past him or something? Sometimes this game seems like it just likes messing with me. Oh well. Alright. He doesn't seem to have even come down in this direction. Does not seem interested in searching the really poor hiding spaces that are j just, just within his reach. And it seems he's gone. Okay. Yep. I don't see anything. So unless he was in one of those two rooms to the right or left that I already checked, maybe he spawned in there. That's possible. I don't know. Alright. Well, we're still on a slight headache, and we know where to go. Okay. She deserved it, that little bitch. Okay, cool. Nothing around. Jar of acid. Get on there. The acid has severely weakened the padlock. And then hammer and chisel. Awesome. Oh shit. Entrance to Cistern. <laughs> of course the monster would spawn just then. Carefully treading the unknown land, he looked over his shoulder at his travel companions. The Outrider touched the brim of his hat as a final farewell. Okay. Whoa. So you used the drain sewers as a means of transport? Yes. They were built to divert water from an underground spring and are quite spacious. It seemed only natural to incorporate it into the overall structure. But we won't be using it. Not today. The flow is seasonal, and when the spring runs dry, the damp tunnels produce a rather poisonous type of fungi. 
There is an antidote, of course, but we won't be bothering with it today. Come, this way instead. We're almost there. Hmm. Okay. This place looks, uh, pretty fancy. Like something out of a video game. With, uh... With, uh... What's the, the word? You know, Cthulhu-type designs. Eldritch Horror and all that. What's the lever do? The lever's stuck. Its gears need to be greased. Okay. Kind of funny that you just instinctively know what's wrong with the lever and why it's stuck. But okay, I'll accept it. <gasps> and let me guess, this door's probably locked. Yep, won't budge. Same thing is locked, pretty much. Also, uh, after we came through that door, the music kept playing for a couple seconds before the, uh, before the flashback started, so it actually had me really nervous, because I thought that, uh, the monster was gonna try and chase us through, and I was gonna call bullshit, because oil drainage. A vessel is needed to carry the oil. Well, of course. Will a glass jar work? Awesome. Picked up glass jar of oil. And in that case, can we just use it directly on the... I mean, it, it said the gears need to be greased, so I would assume we need to find the gears and use it on that. But, apparently not. Cool. A broken pipe is blocking the ladder. However, it got somewhat damaged by the impact. Hammer and chisel, maybe? That's unlikely, but... Cannot use the item this way. Maybe if we try it again. Just break it off entirely. Seems like that's gonna work. But before we do that, I wanna see what's down here real quick. Just wanna see what's in this direction. Oh. Water. Fuck that. Not gonna mess with that today, no siree. Not even gonna pretend. Alright. Awesome. Let me guess, crystal clear. Booyah. We're so smart at the puzzles, oh boy. Just the best. So that's gonna go back... Uh, uh, ...above the prison, isn't it? I mean, that's where it leads, like, physically, control room. Oh! It's not locked. I assume it was going to be locked. The blue uh, light blinded him as it had done inside that murky tomb in Algeria. It was just as enchanting as he and he approached, and he tried to approach it, but the Baron's firm hand held him back. Okay. Cool. Let's go back out here first. Regardless of whether or not we're supposed to go that way, there were two, like, lever-looking things that I passed tried the door first because I assumed the door was uh, going to be locked. Okay. What's the memento say? Repair the machine powering the eastern bridge. Got it. And I suppose this one doesn't work either then. Oh, it does. Oh, I see. Okay. So that's the eastern bridge that that lever powers. Got it. Cool. Alright, so what door is this? Cool. Cistern. Alright, so cistern and control room. My guess would be that the control room is a better bet for repairing the other ladder. So let's go to the control room again. And I, the Alexander dude said that we needed to go through the cistern, but when it's all dried up, it has the fungi in it. So I, I I'm not sure, unless I was mistaken. Maybe I was, uh, oh great, multiple doors, I don't like that. And a lever and another 
door. A heavy gate. Got it. Okay. Well, before we mess with that, we must do what we must do. <laughs> I hope this doesn't annoy anybody because uh, I'm going to be doing it every single time. Given the chance. I'd be surprised if there wasn't another situation in which we have to run away from a monster and aren't given a chance to hide. We had a, a moment like that at the beginning of the game with the uh, with the invisible monster in the water after we got past it the first time through trickery. It then... I want to make that a little bit longer. Yeah, it then started chasing us through that little sequence through the, uh, the water-filled, like, tunnels. And there was no place to hide and no alternate directions to go. So, I'd be very surprised if they didn't try that at least one more time. But given the chance, I will always be setting up a little hidey hole to get in. Like, just like that. Exactly like that. Perfect. Okay. Alright, let's uh, try this first, I guess. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't like that. Once we get under there, we have no way of opening it. Unless there's another... I mean, there might be another wheel on the other side, but I highly doubt it. Okay, don't know what all that is. Right now, I'm kind of just trying to see everything and get a feel for what's around. Oh, that's funny. It glows faintly blue, so you can know it's a puzzle item that you need. I had noticed a slight blue glow on some items before, but I thought it was just a, uh, a coincidence, like a trick of the lighting, because all of them that I would noticed before happened to be near a source of moonlight, so I thought it was the objects themselves like partially reflecting the moonlight. Okay, I don't know what those are for just yet, probably something to do with like the pipes in the back or whatever, but uh, we'll keep them there for safekeeping, I suppose. And let's read this note over here. And let's drag this box here, just in case if something pops out in the main room. I highly doubt it, but just in case if something pops out in the main room, I want a spot to hide behind after reading the note, I guess. Oh, that's not a note at all. Whoopsie. That is... That's why why can't we read that? That's really weird. Okay, fine. Alright, so what do these do? Okay. And that, you know what? Close this. Put this one up too. After it just clicks once, I suppose, is good enough. Hmm, maybe more? Nope. Okay. Cool. I have no idea what that does. And there's nothing else in this room to interact with, as far as I can tell. Alright. Cool. Great. Wonderful, flaccid way to end the to end the episode because I am actually out of time for right now. Fortunately, I'm gonna have to end it here. Oh well. Hope you all have enjoyed it. Hope you all continue to enjoy it. When we come back, we'll try to figure out what the hell's going on with any of this stuff, and I'll see you all later. Bye bye.